Subscribe to Feminism in India for your dose of intersectional feminist content and make sure to hit the bell icon to get all the latest updates. Think about a few investment or finance related ads you've seen till now. Other than disclaimers like Mutual funds are subject to market risk. Read scheme data documents carefully before investing. What else do you think is common? Middle-aged men, fathers, sons, male working professionals, men as business owners. But that's it, right? Where are the women? Do they handle money matters in households like yours and mine? Today we're talking about women and finance. While women are often pushed towards handling the double burden of domestic chores and office work, the man of the house is largely seen responsible for and manages the money. Generally, the personal finances of salaried women are looked after by their husbands or their father. Even when they are running businesses, women have to adhere to advice from older male members of the family. In rural areas too, women may be working harder than men, often combining regular labor with rigorous chores, but domestic economics is still considered to be the preserve of the man. Not gonna lie, there have been several schemes by the government to bridge the gender gap in bank account ownership in the country, under which many women from rural areas and marginalized backgrounds signed up. However, in terms of active account usage, the gap still remains. Many of them continue to be dormant account holders with little know-how of transactions or investments. In the case of women, while education is a pertinent factor, sexism also has a role to play. Women are left out, not trusted with, or simply not deemed fit for having economic knowledge to be independent financially and have agency of their money. But what is financial literacy? Simply put, it's knowing the basics of money management. Being financially literate, one can better plan for future investments and expenditures and prevent themselves from falling prey to scams or fraudulent schemes. Why is it important for women to be financially literate? As much as it's imperative for personal and professional growth, being in charge of our own money makes us independent. At times of financial insecurity, women are one of the worst hit sections in society. In the COVID-19 pandemic, more women dropped out of the workforce. In most cases, women are unable to step out of abusive marriages or living conditions because of financial dependency. They face career setbacks in greater numbers than men because of family and childcare responsibilities. Financial literacy, therefore, will empower them to make independent decisions. Beat an emergency, unforeseen circumstances or unfortunate events. It will allow them to rebuild their life on their own terms. In 2021, India ranked 140 out of 156 countries on the Global Gender Gap Report with an economic gap of 67%. Financial independence is a huge part of the struggle for equality. The more aware gender minorities become, the easier it will be to mitigate things like pay gap or gender equality at large. How can this happen? Do away with the bias that women and numbers don't go well. It's not like women don't understand finance or economics. There are several amongst us to prove us otherwise. Anshula Kant is the Managing Director of World Bank. Geeta Gopinath is IMF's Chief Economist. Nena Noel Kidwai is Fiki's former president and Indra Nui leads PepsiCo as the CEO. Involvement in financial planning. While faith and trust on family members is good, awareness is equally important. Women should be taught and encouraged to manage their own bank accounts, income and investments. When we talk about sharing the load, it also means active participation in money matters. Embracing diversity in advertising and policy making. This one's actually quite simple. Women's interest in money ki baate should also be compounded now. Financial communications regarding investment schemes, government services or insurance policies must also cater to our needs and preferences. The extent of women's contribution to household income is regularly undervalued and their financial instinct highly underestimated. Several studies suggest that when women do venture into finances, they generate better returns. With women taking over different roles of care and work for self and others, financial literacy and independence is an urgent call of the hour. So who manages the money at your homes? What do you think must be done to increase financial literacy? Tell us in the comments below. like this video
video, don't forget to like, share and comment and subscribe to Feminism in India for your dose of intersectional feminist content.